All right, hey guys, Basil and Wolf for Grayson Hobby, and today we are not at the shop, we are at the field. Yep, we finally have a nice day out to where we're both available to fly. And it's not raining, but we got something new. I think that's rain out there, Will. It is rain. Every time we come here, it rains. Woo! <laughs> that was close. Almost dug it in. See, that's kind of neat. That, that's where this is just something different. That is cool right there. We're gonna open it up, which is not much to it, and we're gonna give it a quick radio test. We're gonna go over the battery, and we're gonna fly it around here. We're gonna transition from hover mode to airplane mode at the, at the field, and we're gonna transition back from airplane mode to hover mode and see if it does what it says it does. And this time, we get to do a speed test. We're gonna see how fast it goes, um, just because. We, because we can. It is not a quad, this is not a plane. It's a vertical takeoff and landing uh, aircraft, um, VTOL. So this is the new E-Flight Mini Convergence. Um, yeah, everybody knows the big one and all that, so this is now the mini one that can fly in smaller areas. The whole idea is this and possibly, now you can actually fly in a neighborhood maybe, um, stuff like that. So this is one that we put together with our stickers and all that, but out of the box, let's go through. Let's open this up, yeah. So just so the way, that's the same sticker pattern I would've chosen. Yeah. Comes with a bunch of sticker sets. It comes with four or five sticker sets. Okay. Um, and the plane. Packaging, yeah, there's really not much to it. <laughs> all right. So you got the plane itself here. So you got the mini convergence. There's a battery hatch. So it's JST, unlike all the other stuff. JST, it comes with a uh, pre-done cable, so if you want to do FPV, you can rig it up. Um, the battery size is a three cell 800-ish milliamp. Um, we used an 850 earlier, but uh, the battery for it is recommended as an 800 milliamp three cell um, LiPo with the JST connector. Um, you can see underneath. Oh, it's got servos too. Look at that. Not a lot to it. If you need, to, if you get the plug and play model, there's a screw there. You'll undo that to get the hatch to put the receiver in. Um, this is designed for a Spectrum receiver, like the 4648 yes, receiver. Yes, you cannot use a Futaba, high tech, all that yeah. stuff. Only use um, Spectrum. Now you'll see that the plane itself, ha or aircraft itself, has uh, four servos on it. These are um, three and a half, three point six gram servos. Wait, how many servos? Four servos. Four servos. All right, I see two. Uh, okay, four the servos. motors have servos. Okay. And then the motor speed controls. Obviously, the speed controls are here, here, and here. So you got three speed controls and four servos. Okay. Um, and then three motors. So I guess once you get it, really assembly is, is required. Pretty much putting stickers. stickers on and getting the battery in it. And the radio. How was that for you? Uh, the radio set wasn't bad. The manual tells one way, and then there's a quick start sheet that gives you a different way. Okay. So either follow one way or the other, depending on how, uh, if you want the mode split up or not. Okay. Um, the only other thing it comes with is two extra props. Uh, it would have been nice if they have that three. Three. <laughs> but but um, oh well. On the bottom of it is the manual, manual, and that's the quick start guide. Let me hold that there. Okay. But that's the quick start guide that I used to set it up with the three position switch, okay. the arming, disarming, and then throttle trim to either make the motors on or off at idle. Okay. Um, and that's so really like all kill there switch, is to right? It. Yeah. All right. All right. For those who are new to a VTOL aircraft, what do you uh, what are you switching? Per the here? manual, it told me to set up my flight mode switches here. It's got stability with hover, stability air, uh, airplane mode, and acro airplane mode. So acro is like the most of uh, yeah, that's like traditional plane okay. leveling, auto leveling, like safe mode, and then that's safe mode hover. Okay. Uh, arm and disarm, and then uh, I have my high rates and low rates on split for aileron and elevator here. Um, a lot of people are probably going to put them, link them together on a switch or something like that. How do you get want. it from airplane or in a hover mode to airplane mode? What switches you have? This switch. Up? Okay. All right. So. And so is that is that all? So you have the stability mode and hover mode at the same per, time. Per the manual, okay. it's. Stability, hover mode, stability, airplane mode, and acro airplane mode. So you mode. did you did a three position switch versus two two position switches. Yes. Okay, that's the way to go. That's what I recommend. All right, here we go. And I got my nifty nifty pocket radar. Yeah. So this will do a nice speed gun. We actually verify this with a police officer. Nice of us. Come by and. Another thing is this has a mode on it here. Um, motors armed. I can either have the motors at idle on. There's two different three position switches set up. So I got motors off at idle, motors off at idle, motors on at idle. So you're using your trim on the throttle for us? Like it's a, a three position switch. Wow, okay, into. that's interesting. Um, that's the way they programmed it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. your throttle, that's new, right? For, I never heard it before. So your throttle trim is now a switch? Essentially they're using it as a switch. Wow, it's okay. just like a mode switch, yeah. Right, okay. And transition now on the ground, let's see how long it takes. Where does it go? Goes up and high and far, that's for sure. All right, just so you see how this radar gun works, I have to. It's a lot harder to pass is, uh... I have to hold this in, and it's in the read mode. And where? Here he comes.
Is that his full throttle? Yeah. God, thing's so quiet. 47. Quieter micro. Thing. Yeah, that's very quiet. All right, full speed coming. 45. Great. Yeah, I grant he's not coming right at me. He doesn't want to kill me, so. Personally, their factory setup was recommending 10, only 10% 10 expo. Um, I'm gonna say I like more expo than that. I, it, it to me, it's a little twitchy. Yeah, and I think I would like to dumb it down a little bit um, around neutral. But it's also a new plane. I'm not really used to it. So. And I'm not used to filming airplanes. <laughs> I want to see the transition again. I want to see how right. quick this transitions. All right. So let's bring it back into the wind here and transition. Come on, some time today. You got, kind of did it. And I right. wasn't really going slow. I was kind of in the middle of over flight, you know? You kind of started the transition right at us and it took him to the end of the runway. I am really pushing forward on this thing. I'm max forward stick. So it doesn't like to go fast in hover mode. No, hover's kind of pointless. I am max full stick to get over here. Are you even moving forward? Yeah. So you're trying to tell me you're coming in full, and the wind, this has got to be less than five. I mean, you are going into the wind right here, Will, but it's that shouldn't prevent it from, from uh. No, I, I had low rate on. Point. You're gonna transition here. Yeah, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and transition. Now I probably could have slowed down more, but that, yeah, pretty much the end of the runway. Now, how's it working with higher rates coming forward at us? Yeah, it's better. All right. I and mean, it's actually giving me a little more bias forward. Okay. So now it's like a quad, right? You want us to call it that? Eh. Still a little sluggish? Yeah, it's definitely no quadcopter, but it's, it's vertical takeoff. It's, it's yeah. neat. All right, now I feel like I have no backwards, which is weird. Well, you are going into the wind. It's a whole whopping five miles an hour, if that. All right, how long was that buzzer? So that was five minutes starting at 70%, and my uh, when I'm under 25% throttle, my timer turns off, so it could have been more. Okay. Uh, down. All righty. Let's feel those motors. It's about 90 degrees today in Atlanta. Yeah. Fine. All right. I check. wish my quadcopters were that cold. Let's check that battery. You can see the batteries mount it all the way to the front of the firewall for okay. me. That's a Grayson thir uh, Longbow, actually, uh, 850 mm -hmm. resale. If batteries. you want to see the part number, what? Yeah. Battery's a little warm. Okay. Well, it's pushing three motors on there. All right, so after your flight, we're going to check the battery so voltage. Two, what, two and a half minutes, I think, the very first flight I did on it. Uh -huh. And then I just did a five-minute flight, um, not counting the throttle going all the way low, which wasn't very much. Um, I'm at 20% right now, wow. so... Yeah, I mean, that's upwards of possibly seven-minute flight, I guess, okay. depending and on how you fly. And depending on your fly. You kind of and flew nice and... that was mixed hovering and yeah. flying. You flew good. You flew a little aerobatic and... And uh, hovering all that stuff. All right, flight number two. We're gonna. Um, it's not exactly a level surface, but we're gonna be good with. It. Oh, look at them. Oh, what, what's going on here? One motor is going. Okay, I was in the wrong. All right, so that's what happened when you were in your own position there. So you were in. I was flaps down from the plane. I just flew. Okay, that looks kind of loose there. Is that supposed to be that loose? Yeah. yeah they look kind of. I got some. Don't slop. break it. I got some. <coughs> Leave it the basil to break it. I got some slop in it. Now this one doesn't move. That one's nice and. Because it's fixed, really. Right. I'm saying it doesn't move, so it doesn't. <laughs> this guy. Doesn't rotate. This guy. So it this guy right here. I want to see you go full throttle and put that sucker in um, hover mode. You know what? I'm actually gonna power cycle it because this is a level runway, and okay. I, I really would like to see this thing hover level. So when, when in doubt, power cycle, which means take the battery out, put it on level surface, and plug it back in. You'll see the props go up. There they go. Wow, so here we go. Fresh pack, brand new chop the charger, and we're getting 47 right over my head. That was a good flight. Good pass. Good pass, sir. Four, oh my gosh. You know what? 47 again. I'm gonna clear this. All right, now there's no reading in here. There's no readings on this gun. Okay, reading now. 49. Four, 49, it was the fastest as you passed me, it was 40. So 49. I could be a little tail heavy, possibly, or. The trim is off, but I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to bring it into a transition now. Go full speed when you do it. Full speed transition? Yeah, I want to see what happens. All right, so this is full speed transition. And you can hear that's hover. 
right, and I'm gonna go back into plane mode. Okay, so you went from plane to hovered to plane. And you can hear you can hear it very distinct. It gets quiet, and that's when you got control again. Yep, so quiet, I don't even know where it's at. So the transition length is based on your speed, which makes Definitely total sense. Definitely to change the way it transitions. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get the power flight, transition. Probably just gonna wear out these servos transitioning back and forth. So I guess, can you put it in that stability mode with? I'm in stability right now. Okay, so what, what, can you do a flip or a roll in stability mode? Uh, no, it's like safe mode. Yeah, yeah. Right. don't so like that. I'm going pretty slow, pretty slow, very, very slow, and hover. Oops, do not try to control it while it's hovering. Transition. Now, I would not fly this in my house. No, I was originally hoping it was a little slower and a little more forgiving to where I could fly it, in, you know, in the cult sack or something like that, maybe. Well, even at the shop, but I just... But, no, this would have been a bad idea. I think you still need a small feel, like a soccer field or something. Yeah, like sure. definitely not at... Just not yeah, at for the most part, keeping it within the, the trimmed grass area over here, so it's not like it needs a ton of room. So you did a yaw right there, huh? So you use rudder, I should say? It's very limited, but it does seem to be... Yeah. It's turning it. So you know, like a flat spin, a uh, flat turn. Yeah, I mean, it has a little bit, not much. So that's oh yeah, that's much better than turning now. So now transition. Oh, no. Whoa, what was all that about? Uh, I was trying to pull up. All right, and so that was. And look at that, it's stuck in a. That's interesting. I'm it's... holding 40% forward. Oh, you're going forward. It's trying to go back. And it's trying to go backwards. I pulled up during the, look, I pulled up during the transition and that's what happened. Oh wow. So, so I guess. I definitely think you kind of want to not Hands off that. the sticks when you transition. There you go. All right guys, there you have it. There is our first look at the mini con convergence. Yes. Is that what they call it? Yeah. yeah. So anyways, uh, we, we like it. It flies really good. It's not for inside. I don't know why um, there's videos out there with them. Uh, flying in the house? Uh, I'm gonna say no go on in the house yeah. kind of thing. Uh, however, I will say improvement over the larger one. Big the one. Definitely, one. definitely. Um, seems smoother transitions, seems obviously shorter transitions based on the size, but it seems to fly pretty well. The yeah. big one, eh, I wasn't too impressed with that one, right. but this one seems to do pretty well. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't pass up on one of these if you got the extra coin kind of thing and you want something different. Uh, it's pretty neat because Gotta be honest, you know, when you do multi-rotor, 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 oh, yeah. plane, 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 it's something a little different. Yep. Nice. So the street price is $200. It is kind of high for some people, but I think with the electronics and the software, it is a great deal. You're paying uh, for the concept. You're not yeah. necessarily paying. For right. So this is, if you want something that's late, latest and greatest and cool and, and, and just nothing out there like it, this is it. Um, so that, we're going to wrap it up before that rain cloud starts raining on us back there. Uh, every time we come to a video, it seems to always rain, right? Yep. So we'll give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I like it. I'm thumbs up. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Comment below what, what you uh, think, what you want to see next with this guy, radio setups maybe perhaps. Right, until next time.